Hey guys, I'm heading to the comic shop, hoping to see Clyde there. Hoping I get there before Clyde gets there. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey ladies and gents, you're a pal Rob here. All right, so today is new comic book day. Picked up some really cool books. And I also have a few books I wanna talk about that I well, you'll see in a moment. Let's start with the comics. First comic I have here is White, Chapter Two. This is from Black Mask Comics, an independent com comic company. Um, so far, the story has been fascinating, controversial. But in this storyline, uh, in this universe, only black people, some black people have superpowers. And um, I'm not gonna, Go any further than that. I don't want to spoil the storyline so far. I have issue one, second print. This is issue two. Issue one and issue two, first print, have been limited to 2,500 copies. This story is really fascinating, not for kids. Um, and not many stores have this in stock. The one store I went to that I knew had this only had one in stock. So if you see this, you might want to get it before it's too late. I'm sure it's already on eBay at a different price than cover price. But a good story so far. The next book I have here is a new uh, series from Star Wars High Republic Adventures. This is The Monster of Temple Peak, Disney. This is the first appearance of Ty Yorick. Like I said before, any first appearance comics at cover price and at Star Wars, these characters are considered canon, so there's a chance you could possibly see this character, you know, in something where there'd be animated, live action show or movie. So I suggest for those who are in the speculation nation, Empire Comics, you might want to pick it up. It's cover price. It's a new series. And I haven't read it yet. I'm not sure if it's any good or not, but so far, for cover price, I figured why not pick it up and give it a try. Hey, if you ever consider selling a comic collection, you might want to consider Infinity Comics. They'll buy collections, large or small, and sometimes individual books. And if you do contact them, tell me your pal Rob sent you. Okay, I have here Star Wars, The High Republic, issue number eight. This is the, I guess, A cover and the main cover. Anyway, this has the first appearance of Comac Vitus and Beef Silas. And on the cover here, we have Keeb Trennis. And um, this might be the first or second cover appearance her first cover appearance is in the last issue, but this is the first, uh, well, this is an appearance also of Orla Jereni. She got the double saber, which is pretty interesting. Anyway, um, I'll say it again. First appearances of any Star Wars character is worth getting, especially for cover price. It's still available, neat cover. Um, got for cover price. Now I did pick up this one right here. This is Star Wars The High Republic 8, this is the one in 25 cover. Got it for, you know, 20 bucks. Anyway, this cover here looks like it might be the Trengar. They're a plant-based species that's supposed to be one of the two threats threatening the universe at this time. So I'm not sure if this is the first cover appearance. It might be another book, but I thought this was fascinating. If this is the first cover appearance of the Drengar, I think one in, I think 20 bucks for one in 25 ain't a bad deal. The Dringar's first appearance is in issue number three, so that might be worth picking up too. I'm glad to have it. Okay, this next book is pretty cool. The Amazing Spider-Man 9. This is from the 2014 series. This is the Comic Exposure variant. This is the uh, first time we see, this is the first silk cover appearance. And we have all the lady, all the major ladies, we got Spider-Woman. We have Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider, and then we have Silk. The first time they meet all on the same cover, although even though they don't interact in the comic. That's pretty cool. So you see this one, this one will run you probably between 30 and 50, 60 bucks. This is the color one. And I have a, this is new. This is the sketch variant. This goes for, even though it's a different, it's, uh, I thought it was a higher ratio. I'm not sure if it is or isn't. If you do know, uh, let me know in the comment section, but this goes for roughly the same price. You know, 30 to 50, 60 bucks or so. So, great book. If you're into the Spider-Verse, 
it's good to get one or both these books because it's the first cover appearance of Silk and second cameo of Spider Gwen. If your comics need to be pressed, I recommend Basement Comics. I've used them for a long time. They've been around for years. They have a fast turnaround time. And if you do contact them, tell them Rob sent you. Now I have something to say about these comics right here. So let's start. Okay, I finally broke down and read Stray Dogs. I never figured out why people liked it so much. Well, guess what? Now I know. That book is totally insane. It is worth it. Now I know why the first prints go for so much. This is one of the coolest stories I've read in a while, and I know I say that a lot. I read a lot of books. This book's worth it. I'd like to thank Sean, Slim Comics More. Check out his channel. Make sure you sub him up. He kept pushing me to read it. I kept saying, okay, Sean, I'll get around to it. Well, Sean, I did. That book is awesome. And I get why people like it now. The cool thing is there's multiple prints. The first print's expensive, but there are second, third, and later on prints, so you can find it probably for cover price. I recommend it as an excellent read. Hey, I hope you like the comics. I will see you soon.